Hello again. Welcome to another edition of the Redneck Fly Fisherman. Today we're going to tie a Jubilee Betas. I really, really like these. They're very effective, very simple, and extremely versatile when it comes to material. <clears throat> you can use a lot of different kinds of material for this. Today we're going to use uh, number 22 curve straight eye. We've got uh, 72D 8 out thread. We're going to use some mayfly tail fiber for our tail. We've got some small glass tinsel holographic that we'll use for our flash. <clears throat> We're going to use uh, just standard dubbing material for this. And we're also going to use some Anton yarn for our little wings. And today we're going to use it in a white. Like I've always said before, try to keep your flies simple. Makes it a lot more enjoyable and easy. Tie a few complex flies once in a while, I do. Not a whole bunch, but a few. But keep it works in your box. And everything will go fine. So, we'll get started here in a minute again. Like I said, it's going to take a little longer than it normally would. If you were to just sit here and just tie these flies, you could do them probably three minutes. So here... We've got another one we're going to come down about a third of the way. What I want to do is crowd the eye of the hook and we'll get started. I'll go over the other material here in just a minute. So we'll come on down and these, these Jubilee Betas, a lot of people tie them on a straight hook. Straight shank I do sometimes. But for whatever reason, dumb luck, call it what you want, I seem to catch more fish on these, on the curves, than I do on the straights for some reason. Not that I don't catch them on the straight, I just don't catch as many. So we'll stick to the curve. I'm going to grab about six or so strands of this mayfly tail just to make it a little visible and what I like to do here because my fingers are fat chubby dubby I'll tuck my tail fibers up underneath the hook and I'll come walk it around and pull it down We'll take one more loose tuck. We'll pull this around to the back side, straighten it out, and then we're going to shorten this up to about the length of the length of it ought to be about the width of the hook opening. So we'll come down here, walk this up. This is going to be a low profile fly right here. So we'll come back up to about the two third mark. We'll trim her all close. Now, what we're going to use here, a lot of people use wire, black, red, chartreuse, gold, whatever color you want. But what we're going to use today, and this is 
one of the reasons why I like this material right here is we're going to use clear stretch tubing here. Uh, what some people will do is they'll lay this tubing on the top of the hook and then they can wrap it down. It's okay. I do that two times if I need a little meat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors. Really, I need a need a little one of those little hobby knives. And I'm going to trim a taper, and I'm not sure how well you can see that taper on the end of this tubing. And then we're going to come here and lay the flat part of that taper on the hook and try to catch it. Yeah, this gets tricky sometimes. We'll catch that right there. And what this is going to do is going to help keep our profile real low so we don't have a bunch of fat build up up the hook. And here we're going to take our bobbin holder, get our bobbin out of the way, and then we're going to wrap this, stretch it out real good with this clear tubing. What you can do with this is just even like with this red, you can go underneath your the base of your body with a black or a olive, dark olive, or just a different color thread, and then darken this fly up. And what it'll do is it'll give you a, a different hue, because you'll have the red, but the dark color underneath is what's going to be dominant. So it's going to look black or whatever color you're trying to imitate, but at the same time, now we want to pull this tight, stretch the tubing a little bit, take a couple wraps and then lock it down. Then we're going to stretch this tubing up and cut it nice and close. But what that does is when you put this thing in the water and it catches light, you're going to have a black beta with a red hue with that sunlight. And sometimes that little subtle change is all it takes to turn a fish on. Next we're going to attach our tinsel flash. Get around here. Get up on top. We're going to get us some a little bit of black Anton dubbing, not much, but I want a whole lot. Now this isn't super fine like I normally would use. I don't have any today. I'm not at my house. I'm 9,000 miles away at work. But I'm off right now. We'll use this and we'll just pull it down tight. Let me keep wrapping it in here and keep it nice and tight. And then come here. And we're going to take our Anton yarn. For our wing, we're going to attach a couple of loose wraps. And we'll pull it down on the side of it right here. Tighten it up. Pull this down the other side. A couple of wraps, tighten it up. And we're going to take our flash. Pull it over the top of the back. I'm going to take one wrap, two wrap, and we're going to fold it back and take another two wraps. And that just locks it down because this delicate little fly right here when you grab it with your hemostat trying to unhook your fish. Sometimes you'll pull that thing loose and that little flash will come out of there. And then you've got it flopping around. So we're going to walk our thread back or the back bend of the hook so we don't crowd our eye too bad. Do one and do it one more time. Good tight. Trim my thread off. Pull this up to the eye of the hook. Dip it. And there you have it. Jubilee Betis, deadly little fly, very, very effective. Do these in black, green, chartreuse, any color you want. 
and like I said, this type of material here, you can use wire if you need a little more shine, you want a little more shine, but this right here picks up a lot of light when it's in the water with the clear tubing. So just a neat little trick. Another thing I like to use on the bigger ones, on let's say like on an 18 or a 16, is I like to take uh, like a D-rib mid-size and wrap it. That just gives it a little more texture look. Get the nice fat ribs on it. I do the same thing. Just go underneath with the same color thread or a darker thread or a lighter thread. Another thing I've done to give it a little more shine with this clear tubing is on a little, like on a 20 or an 18, <clears throat> is take that holographic tinsel and wrap it at the under uh, part of the underbody and then come over with the clear tubing and then you got a nice red fly that's got a little bit of flash built into him underneath him and all around his body so there it is folks tight lines good luck roll tight